I'm gluten-free Gigi. I understand how difficult it can be to enjoy the foods you love on a special diet. That's why I'm making these videos. Come join me in the kitchen. You will love this side dish I have for your holiday table. My friend Marion sent me a little note at my mailbox email address and she wanted to know, Gigi, I love sweet potatoes. All the sweet potato casserole recipes that I see on the internet, while they may be gluten free, they're high in fat. Guess what? Mine is not and it's fantastic. Naturally gluten free. We're doing this one dairy free. So let me show you what we've got. 375 on the oven. We have an 11 by 7 casserole dish here. I've sprayed it with some cooking spray so it doesn't stick. Let me show you the sweet potatoes. I've already cooked mine. I've got about six cups here and look how soft they are. You want really the sweet potatoes to be cooked really soft so we're going to put them in the food processor. While I do that, I want to tell you how I cooked these. I cubed my sweet potatoes, just large cubes, chunks, put them in a large pot, cover them just enough water to cover, put them on high heat, bring them to a boil, cover them, reduce your heat to about medium, and let them cook for about 15 minutes and then you're going to get really nice soft sweet potatoes. Make sure they're super tender. Cool them after you've drained them, cool them for just a few minutes so you can get them in the food processor without having any sort of a mishap with the steam. So put those in and we're going to process these until they're smooth. Then they're going to go right back into this bowl and we'll finish up the dish. Once you've got your sweet potatoes nice and smooth in your food processor, spoon those back into the bowl. And we have a few ingredients to add that aside. So you've got your nice puree here. I want to add a quarter cup of So Delicious Coconut Milk Creamer. You can use milk here if you're not dairy free, that's fine. And I have a quarter cup of pure maple syrup. Use the good stuff for your holiday meal, remember. So you want to stir these just a little bit. Be careful stirring so you don't lose your liquid. And if you're using milk instead of the coconut creamer, you don't have to use whole milk or cream. You can use skim milk or 1%, 2%. So remember, we're keeping the fat reduced here for Marion. We're not putting any butter in here. We don't need it. Let's go in with a half teaspoon of sea salt. And I have one egg lightly beaten. If you want to reduce the fat even more, Marion, use a quarter cup of egg substitute. Or you can use egg replacer there if you don't eat eggs. So I'm going to stir this, and that's all there is to it. If you wanted to add some cinnamon here, or some ginger, some vanilla extract, you could do that. I keep it simple. So you want to make sure, if you use a real egg, you get all that egg white stirred in there. So spend a minute here. And we want to take this over to our prepared baking dish. Then, no marshmallows for us. We're going to make a streusel topping that you'll love. So let's go to our baking dish. Let's just pour this right in. Remember I sprayed it with the cooking spray. And once you've got this in here, just give it a quick, quick little swirl here. Spread it around. And I have a piece of foil in the background over here. So have a piece of foil ready. We are going to cover our casserole when we get it in the oven. So let's make the topping first and then I'll show you, show you what we do with that. In the bowl for the topping, I have a quarter cup of brown rice flour. You can use white rice flour if you'd like. You can also use sorghum flour there if you like. Have a quarter cup of brown sugar that was firmly packed. And I want to take a fork, I'm just going to mix this together. This is your streusel topping. If you don't want brown rice flour, put some 
certified gluten-free oats in there. And you can use the streusel topping on your apple crisp or any fruit crisp that you make. This is a multi-purpose trick here. And you can put ginger instead of cinnamon or leave that out altogether. I have two tablespoons of Earth Balance soy-free buttery spread. You can use butter here. You can also use coconut oil here that's solid. What you want to do is take your fork. And this is one of our favorite techniques. We use this one all the time. We're just going to cut the butter or the Earth Balance into our dry ingredients. And remember, that gives us those little buttery pockets, so when this heats up in the oven, it makes a really nice, crispy topping. And so give this a minute of your time to make sure you get a nice crumb, coarse crumb texture. And this is going to go right on top of our sweet potatoes before we put them in the oven. And that's how you get that nice buttery streusel topping. This is also good if you're making gluten-free muffins. You can put this on top of those before you bake them too. About a teaspoon per muffin. We've got all sorts of tricks to use the streusel topping. Alright, that looks perfect. So when you get to this point, go over to your to your dish and just sort of sprinkle this over the top try to keep it even. Now you know that I have a nut allergy so I don't eat nuts but before I had a nut allergy I used to make this dish and I used to put pecans in it. So if you are able to eat pecans I recommend that you add about a quarter cup right on top at this point because they'll be fantastic. Now it already looks great. Let's put a piece of foil right over it. Doesn't have to be too tight. Let's go in our 375 degree oven, 15 minutes. We'll come back and we'll take that foil off and we'll finish baking our streusel topped sweet potato casserole. It's been 15 minutes. It's time to take off our foil. Just carefully lift that up. Yum, it already smells delicious. Don't taste test yet. You have 25 more minutes, then we'll serve it up. Let's have a look. It's been 25 more minutes and we're ready. I wish you could smell this. It's fantastic. One of the best parts about this recipe is we don't have to wait. We can dig right in. So let's have a look. This is our streusel top sweet potato casserole. A couple things I want to show you. It's really hot. But if you look, you see how this is sort of baked in and it stays together? That's your streusel topping. So good. So let's take, and if you let this sit for just a minute, it'll sort of come back together, but you know I can never wait. And it's just too good. The egg in the dish gives it just a little bit of puff. So it's got that souffle-like lightness and airiness to it. So Marion, out in Indiana, I know you're going to love making this for your family on Christmas Day for your Christmas dinner. It's low fat, it's naturally gluten free, and I know you'll love it.